all right so welcome back if you remember previously i said um we're gonna work on a lot of projects so one of the first thing i want to do today is um kind of look at a login page um using flutter so if you look at this directory i mean if you look at the flutter directory there's a folder called flutter page i mean flutter login page and you have your library or the lib folder where you have your login screen dot that and main dot that and um, screen register dot that by the way i want to tell you something here um Flutter is actually a framework on the Dart programming language. Now, I'm going to do a kind of an intro into Dart programming, not necessarily explaining all the syntaxes and all whatnot, rather explaining the code that we're going to use in this project. So the intention is to keep it simple, like some of you suggested. So let's see if we're able to complete this entire tutorial in less than 10 minutes. Now, look at some of the line of code. Um, I'll try my best in the subsequent tutorial to just explain what every one of them mean as we begin to build an end to end mobile application. So we have a couple of that um, codes here. So the first one is your main dot just simply, which was updated you know unlike the previous tutorial and that reminds me if you've not set up your environment so we're going to use an ide called vs code please check the tutorial is over there all right so now uh if you have that if you have done that and you are willing to get started so i want you to focus on what we're going to build so there are three that stuff here but i've actually not added anything to this so look at the two ones the drivers the driver code is in pre is present in the main dot that uh, file and then you have your register screen dot that so uh let me just show you how the output looks like so i'm going to type flutter run and um, it asks me to choose which of the devices i actually explained this briefly uh maybe per se in detail in the previous um, tutorial so by the way this is the ip address on which it runs some microsoft edge which is a device and i have my chrome browser which was another device and then my desktop so i decide to Keep it simple i'm going to use microsoft edge so and i expect most of you to do the same so let's wait for this service to for it to be connected and i will show you what we're going to build all right so i think we're almost there uh just give me a while oh not giving me a while actually actually giving the system a, a, some couple of seconds for it to complete whatever is doing on the background so it says basically it's launching this right so it's calling the main dot that and um as that happens so this is what we got so it's running on our local host uh yeah on ip address 127.0.0.1 and on this port number 53115 so there you go you can actually see the heading as in your html file that says login and register so what you see first is welcome back and then the other one is your register new and that's there you go uh, this is what you have so the first thing is to ensure that this is responsive and uh, if you just press f12 just to get to the developer option you can actually say remember my decision and open this developer tool so you're going to see this icon right so you can actually reach it by pressing ctrl shift m so basically what we want to do is to see how this is presented across different media so i remember back in days when we used to use javascript you have to import the library at media query and set the screen size and all whatnot so this is why you know responsive design has been taken a center stage and it is kind of easier now for you to do it. so check in on it so you can actually see it's responsive so you can try to drag and you know extend this and see how it uh, you know it floats seamlessly okay now you might decide to check how it's you know it's it to be presented on your iphone 12 iphone 12 pro so iphone 14 max whatever pro and uh, actually here we can actually uh, re, uh what do you call it adjust it check on pixel 7 anyway that's fine so that's not what we want to do now so we, we know that definitely is responsive and uh, for purpose of clarity i have made it full screen now the first thing here is uh let's check out what we built so if i just click on login it say hey enter a valid email address as, an notif as, a, as a notification you can actually see it here enter a valid password okay so so that means fine i need to just um first verify that that's done but um uh first thing since i'm new here so i'll be updating this as the tutorial proceeds so it says uh register now so maybe new here register now so once i click on register now it takes you to this page it says create your account so i need to show you what is happening on the back end so you look at this you see literally you will not be able to see anything because i've handled uh most of the stuff you may not be able to get your code may not be like this but uh, i guarantee you should be able to do it at the end of this tutorial so let me use a name i'll say my name is vijay kumar 
okay so so vj is actually victor so i'm going to use that <laughs> and then my email id is deep learning so just type anything victor um yeah at gmail.com okay okay why not does go all right so I'm, I'm coming so that's that's come okay now let's see the password and i'll just use some random password okay so i must tell you that i have not validated it i didn't create i mean i didn't create i didn't validate this password field okay so it should be minimum of so, so so and so and should not okay that that will be in the subsequent tutorial so you just click on register you see this notification that says accounts created successfully now i need to log in okay so i'll just go and click on login so it says enter your email id for sure so um so and uh and since password is required so it's going to ask me that uh, i should also enter password as well so um at gmail okay that's come now let's go back to enter the password i'll just say the same password now i'll just click on login now you see login in with blah 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 okay so after this is logged in so it actually look at the heading it says welcome back okay because we're going to log in to uh the stuff okay now just in case you forgot the password so it says enter your recovery email id if i just click it says hey please enter your email now that email must be the email which you used for the stuff okay so i'm gonna do the same thing here uh, them. Mm. now i want to ask you this question okay um what do you think is the major flaw here I, i'm not going to answer that i will be addressing it in the subsequent tutorials at this stage i want to know if you are still with me okay so if you observe carefully there are certain things that has not been implemented i want you to head over to the comment section and tell me what those things are all right if you get it who knows you might get, win yourself some chocolate okay so so now listen I, I mean it and i'm serious about it i want you to head over to the comment section and tell me what you think that is missing from this tutorial seriously there is a major flaw here okay we will fix it in the subsequent tutorials so having said all this now so i want us to get started building this together so uh, i'm going to do something now i'll head over to this um, so you can actually see my stuff here and you can actually press Control c Control c i'm going to press the same thing and it just destroys this page so it says application finished uh terminates uh job bad job you just say yes now now this is done okay so i'll clear the screen and we'll start afresh okay so on that note i will see you in the subsequent slide all right okay so are you still with me <laughs> okay are you still here all right so uh like i said um most of the codes are kind of what do you call it extended and um, uh, i'll be explaining it in the subsequent tutorials i'll be explaining what every of the code block means okay so for now we just need to replicate this at the earliest now look at my directory so this is not what i want us to look into so i want us to start a fresh like start a fresh project so permit me to close all this stuff now and and then um, yep so in your case you may not have this so what i want you to do is um just go back and open up a folder so most of the projects are arranged in folders so like i said you are supposed to create your own folder on the desktop that's the first step so possibly keep it on the desktop and let's just do that right away so i'm going to go to file okay and um, since i have created the folder on the desktop so i'm going to say open a folder right so uh it's actually called flutter something so I call this Flutter Logging, okay? So I'm going to select the folder and it's override the stuff. So if you have not done that, please just do that, okay? Just for simplicity. Now, once this is done, now what we are supposed to do now, we need to create this Flutter page, right? So what you do is um, open the terminal, right? So there you go. Once you click on oppress this stuff, so you are now in the terminal. So what is the first step? Can anyone tell me? What I want us to do now is I want to create the... the project and i'm going to do that from the line of code itself are you there all right let's do this and the way you do it like you just you have to use the flutter keyword flutter so what do you want to do you say create um remember you are in this folder otherwise if there's no project actually uh you can just uh just here you can do one thing here say example um you can just say mk okay mk the way the way you create directly mkdir you can call it uh, you can call it uh, say flutter whatever flutter demo okay 
that's it so once that is done then you can actually get into that by just saying cd plotter demo okay plotter demo okay so plotter demo but remember this is not what i want to do i don't want this flutter demo to be inside flutter login all right so so what i'm gonna do is i will just go back a little bit and i'm gonna remove that flutter demo so i'll say rd flutter demo f l u t t e r demo okay now that's done so if i just check this i will see that um nothing is there right so you can just verify again by just seeding into the flutter demo you see it's no longer there fine it says it's not there so that's fine so let me just clear out the screen so there you go and um, you see that stuff just disappeared from here now what we do now is we need to create uh our first page which is our login or, or login screen so we just say flutter um create what's the name of or uh, what's the name of the page so you can call it anything now i'm gonna call it login now i want you to understand something here okay login let's go -E -E so usually flutter um when you're creating classes so uh you are creating fine names so let's start with fine names fine names you is better you use uh or lower cases so now you try with uppercase you see you might get a notification okay in most cases so now i've created this login page so you just see here now we see this login screen and now since i use flutter keyword so it's going to build the data application and on that note i want you to take a while to see how the that stuff looks like so you see here you go to this that now you see there's an important folder called the live folder so open the live folder you see this which is already created templated it's called what um it's called what main dot that so you can double click on this now this is what you have and just in case you did not watch the previous tutorial so i wanted to just run this okay so how do you run it just say flutter run flutter run okay now when you click on this flutter run now it's gonna pop up okay it says no sub my whatever whatever command found this uh uh one minute so this command should be run from the root of your flutter project okay Okay, that's fine. So on that note, I just know that, okay, this is uh, what I'm kind of gonna do. So I need to log into the screen. So it's actually showed me here. So I have a project folder, right? Called login underscore screen. So I need to do that. So CD uh, login underscore S-E-R-E-N. So this is done. Now, what do I need to do now? I run the stuff again, I say for Flutter run. And there you go. So now I explained what those devices are. So Okay, so this now that's not the reason why we are here so in case if you don't know what the devices are they are just kind of um, uh, platforms on which you can run your codes so i have my microsoft edge i have my google chrome and i have my windows so for simplicity i'm going to stick to microsoft edge so so there you go now you wait for this and what you see is something which we have done in the first tutorial when we created flutter and set it up and just permit it to complete the background task you're going to see it in a while all right so just hang in there we're almost done all right so and by the way what you are seeing here these are just ip addresses so you see and um this is going to run on my local host with uh, an ip address 127.0.0.1 so guys i believe by now you know what this is okay so in case you didn't know um how to get this started please get back and watch the previous tutorial all right so this is what it is just to tell you how many times you have click the the button has been pushed that's it right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quit this now just press by crescent control c okay and it says okay application finished terminates bad job you just say yes and that's it all right fine now all these methods okay whatever we have here will be overwritten so like i said i'm trying to keep it simple so let me just go here and just show you what this is going to look like now i'm going to replace all the codes okay uh, the code block okay and uh, try to create everything in a simple login page fine so now what i will do i have copied some of the codes which i've written okay for simplicity and i pasted it here and uh, like i said in the subsequent tutorials i'll be explaining what each uh, every of this code mean okay now simply put i imported the package flutter from that whatever i imported the material that that from the package flutter and you see here flutter widgets that implements material design to use that you can actually watch youtube videos on this and this, this is a class so you can actually just hover over it 
This is a constructor for the public widgets, which should be named with what the key parameter. So you can try adding any other thing here. So you can look at the team, just hover over it. It's going to tell you all the what the methods that are actually in there. Now, so the, this is a class keyword. So obviously that is present in the package what login screen. Now this extends the super class. Fine. So the stateful widget is the is extending the super class. So it's it's kind of mutable. So now, and which you use mostly for what uh, the user interface building. Okay, so that's it. And uh, basically everything here is pretty much the first planetary. And we use this annotation, okay, to kind of to override the member or, or instance member, fine. So this um, is kind of uh, uh, similar to intent. If you have watched some of my tutorials in uh, Android, you see we were using intent. Okay, so that's what it does. And it tries to override the member class, uh, okay, so some, some of the methods, interface methods. And uh, this is just like, you know, you set the padding, okay, like that, that, that space between the stuff and things like that. So this is literally um, pretty much the code that we're going to have. So first thing I want you to do is if you go back here and run this now, so most times you see something, I want you to see it first before I explain that, okay? So uh, let me just see what happens here. So it's almost done, guys. Okay, just just wait for it for a while. So now, uh, at times, okay, if we didn't call up the recent code, that is the updated code, you are supposed to first of all go and save it. See, by default, you expected it to have saved this, right? But if you look at this carefully, you see there is a dot. See that dot, the black dot. Now let me see how it is. Whether mine is able to remember the state, otherwise I will go back and save it. Okay. Now let's check. Uh, it says Flutter demo, and that was what I was telling you guys. So you see here, though I pasted the code, I expected it to see it, but it did not see it, right? So this is something that, you know, most of the mistakes that most of you might make while trying to replicate this code. So what I wanted to do is um, you can leave it running and go back and go to file menu and say save all. Okay. Now you see that black dot has disappeared, right? All right. So the black dots is no longer there and um, we are good to go. Now, what I will do is I can go back to this now and refresh this page. Fine. Now you see login screen is now there. No more demo. Yep. That's what I want you to take note of. But um, it called back the Flutter demo. All right. Yes, we expected that. You see, initially it was pulling the login screen. If you remember when I refreshed this, look here, it was pulling it. But it's remember that the last state was what? Demo. So yes, this is a wrong approach. Fine. What I will do, I'm going to close this now. Fine. So I don't prefer closing it there because I don't want to be seeing this error. So I'll, be better, I'll better press Ctrl C subsequently. So let me run this afresh now and uh, press 3 now. There you go. So this should be done in a while. And as soon as that happens, then I can comfort comfortably or confidently show you the code. Okay. So, um, Yep, we are almost there, guys. So, so um, just wait for a while. Okay. There you go. It's taking some time. And voila. Yep. All right. So it says login screen. Let me see if I've been able to pull it this time around. Um, Yep, so this is what you expected. So remember how we got these guys? You are free to fast forward or pause and just check the stuff. And you see what you're actually looking at is not exactly what we have, right? So there are no, or what do you call it, um, register now page. And uh, this doesn't look so nice. But yes, again, it's responsive. So how do we check that? So we pressed F12 previously. And um, yeah, and we went into the developer tools. There's some Microsoft Edge, by the way. And we looked into this, right? And we try to check, toggle it and check how it is. Again, it's responsive, not, not, no doubt about it. But there's a problem here. Um, so let me just type something here. Okay. Mm. Okay, and then think of a password. All right, and just say login. Done. Fine. So when I click on login, so you see, guys, um, you cannot see the notification here. Okay, there's no notification. So, but if you go back to this code, you see 
uh, <laughs> he's just throwing the password here so you see that all right so this is not what we want to do okay we want to be able to fix this right so we want to fix this up and i don't want to see this notification here so i want to, sh to show me that yes something really happened here because i don't know what is happening right now let me go to forgot password now if i click on recover password it says enter your email id so let's go back there okay now this is fine i'll say again recover password okay all that i saw was on the recovery password email sent right but this is what i want to replicate i want to be able to see both the username and the password everything together there right so what i'm going to do now is i will try and update this code okay so like i said i don't want to close it here if i close it here i'll get the funny error messages so what i will do i just press ctrl c here in the console itself or your terminal and then i'll close the job here so this is a better way to uh, kind of close this now what i will do is um till i get to that where you had multiple that or till i get to the page <laughs> where you had multiple that files i'm going to update this now just to show you little extension that i have done to this so at this on this note i decided kind of to tame it with uh, css so um like i said i want to keep this tutorial simple if you're interested in knowing how everything is done please just comment so if you guys are not interested if you just want to see the code and just replicate it then fine but if you want to know and understand how you can kind of tame this stuff please let me know in the comment section so for now i'm going to paste another extended code with html st styles so if you look at it carefully you see some styles and things like that so like uh, like before we need to save it first before we go and run it so i'm going to save all now done then i'll go back here and what i will do i'll run this again so there will be an advantage uh, the advantage of this code over the previous one is that this code will give you what now it will give you some html styling right but again everything is running inside the word main dot that file okay so let's wait for it to be done all right so we're almost there guys we're almost there see now it's looking um well presented can you actually see it so now it looks well presented so what i'm gonna do is um what i'm gonna do is uh i will kind of um now test out test the stuff and see whether the or what they call it whether the errors has been fixed i mean the notification and everything has been fixed so i'm gonna go back here now notice this you're getting this email icon and then you're getting the password icon and you can actually see this welcome back style with style sheet and you now can actually see this login and and then and password so yes so far we can see that this looks presentable simple and easy so i'm gonna type something again my same email id right okay and just take a password all right so this is done i just click on login now you see the notification here right login in with email and it's telling me what the email id is so this is working now right so let's go back to the password let's see mm, recovery password all right so just click on recover password same thing all right so now uh, how about if you are a new user so i want you to register now okay so like i said i don't want to bug you guys down um, with lots of you know code explanations so i just want you to understand um, that yes this can actually be done in a less time and you can kind of run it so most of the codes will be available okay i'm repeating it again on my page and um now i want you to understand that um, you can kind of add more that files d-a-r-t okay you're gonna kind of more that files now so to do that i'm gonna go back here and i will stop this stuff and um, just press ctrl c again it's done and um, yep so now this that page will be there i need to create another page now i'm gonna call it what now register screen dot that so what how the best way to do it is just right click here you can say a new file okay but maybe you can open this just to show me that yes there is main dot that now a new file and this new file will be called what i told you register now please make sure you're typing it properly okay register underscore screen because we need to redirect to this screen okay like how i did it in the previous tutorials on my 
uh, Android uh, series. So you use intent to redirect it. But now um, I just want to show you that, you know, the simplest way to do it just by copy pasting my code. Now, like I said, if you're interested in the detail, so you just let me know, then I will kind of do the series on that. That might be up to two or three hours. So if only you're interested. So it's called what? Register screen dot. Please include the extension name. Okay. That. So now I have this register screen dot that, which is just a blank uh, page. Now I wanted to paste the, the code. And remember, it is inside what? Library. So you can actually see it here, lib, uh, lib folder, and then you have what? Register underscore screen dot that. So I'm going to copy paste the code and um, that, is, like I said, I'll be explaining it later. So this code is just for the registration page. And once this is done, so if you quickly check here, so there are fields it's going to take. So this is my HTML formatting. So first are fields of type string. So I have my input, uh, sorry, my email, my password, my uh, the name, the email and the password, and then the states. Okay. So this uh, register screen, we extend what states for widget. And then I'm doing using annotations to override some of them. And then this register underscore screen states will be called later in the code block. Fine. And use regular expression to check whether it's matching. And then if it doesn't match, I'll say enter a valid email ID and save it. Now for the same thing, keep, 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 keep a label for what? password and just prompt the user to enter password fine and then in the text field action created successfully just to raise test messages otherwise redirect the person to register now and that's basically what it is here and these are all you know definitely you have to close it to tell me that yes this is the closing tag for the round rectangular border this is for the elevator box the size box the column the form everything and finally for the entire word class okay so this is done now after this now i need to go and update my word uh, you had it right. I need to update my what? Main.that folder. So I'll go back here and uh, I need to update it. Pay attention now. I have only like uh, one something lines of code. So 250 lines of code. I'm going to update it to another one. So it's around 267 lines of code. So this is fine. And before we run it, again, go to file and say save all. Fine. So this is done. And um, I want some color. I've added it through text uh, HTML uh, property. So the foreground color will be green. So you can actually choose any of any shade of green here. You see, this is the beauty. Okay, if you want, you can choose something, maybe something like that. That's fine. Okay, now this is done. I need to run this back again. I say flutter run. And on this note, I'm choosing the edge as usual. And it launches it with debugger mode on. And um, let's see what happens now. All right. So let's wait for it to be done. And I think we're almost there. Okay. Okay, and then in the updated that folder, I think there are three notifications. So if it's a major problem, it's it will crash. Okay, but once it reaches to this level, yeah, congratulations, it's gonna run. <laughs> yeah, is it gonna disappoint me? Let's see. All right, cool. So this is the last page of this tutorial, and this was what you saw when we started, right? So now um I'll try and do something here. I'll just just say click on login. You say, hey, please enter your email. So if I just say um and I say login is to shoot them is that enter a valid email. Okay, so enter a valid email. So next thing I might want to throw this in line here instead of throwing it as a notification. Okay, so um, I'll just use the same thing here. Okay, at gmail.com. By the way, this is the email address on which you can use to reach me if you need any help, if I'm not available on uh, maybe to reply on the comments so you can use the same email ID to reach me. All right, so this is what we have. And um, I'll just click on login. You should say, hey, login in with blah, blah, blah. That's fine. And it drives me to realize me to what the welcome back page. So in case if I'm new, so I'll say register. All right. So if I click on register, I said, hey, enter your name. So my name is, like I said, my name is Vijay Singh. Yeah, <laughs> or Vijay Kumar. So let me say my name is Vijay Singh. That's fine. And um, this is what we have. Okay, now and uh, I'm going to enter password, the same password I'm using. Now I'll click on register, say done, registered, welcome back, and I click on login, done. I see accounts activated successfully, okay, blah, blah, blah. And um, I don't know if you're able to find what the error was, but in case you are wondering, I don't want to keep you waiting. So if you notice here, literally, there is no back end connected to this. OK, and that was what I asked you at the beginning of this tutorial. So trust me, there is no back end connected here. 
and uh, that is what I want you guys to find out, okay? So now we have made it to the end of this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we will then see how this kind of, you know, how we're going to connect this to the back end in the subsequent tutorials, okay? So no back end connected. And most of these things, we're just throwing messages around, okay? So what I want to do is when I click on register, okay? Or let's say if I'm a new person, I have not registered. Uh, when I click on login, please listen. When I click on login, it should say, hey, this email ID is not registered. Say example. Uh, let me repeat that again here. Okay. Um, uh, at gmail.com. Now, if I go back to the password and just type something, right? Okay. Okay. Let me choose an email ID that is not there. Deep Victor or Deepening Victor or whatever. Okay. So this email ID, you know, for sure we have not registered it. But if I click on login, it says login with that. So this is what a major flaw in this tutorial. Okay. So, and um, this is something I would like us to fix as we proceed. Like I said, this is an evolving project. So please listen. Okay. I use Python for almost everything. I use it for my PhD work. I used it for most of my research, but um, something like, you know, drove me to get into this because of the ease of, you know, application development. And since it is cross-platform independent and, you know, you can literally write a code in seconds. Trust me, it's that easy. So I decided to replicate most of the stuff in Flutter. All right. So uh, this is something we want to fix. So we'll be looking into creating this and validating it with a back end. And that tutorial will be up, God willing, next week. So on that note, I don't know why you are still watching my video without being a subscriber. Ah, see, uh, trust me, I don't want subscribers. I mean it. I want people who can kind of watch and comment and possibly share it with your friends. So and on that note, I welcome you to just be that person. Can you do me that favor? Thank you, guys. And um, yeah, you can seriously, I won't get angry. You can comment on my accent. By the way, I'm an African. All right. So if you are thinking an Africa is a country, OK, congratulations. So I'm an African, but Africa is not a country. So which country am I from? Thank you so much. We'll answer that in the next class. Bye for now.